Hey, this is Dan from Real Max Software, and I'm back again with another Elements update. So a few weeks ago, if you've been following along with the videos, we looked at icons, and today I wanted to have another look at those, but also I was gonna look at a bit of layout stuff that has come up before from some of your questions. So uh, first things first, let's go to uh, the Elements view. And now you'll notice all our elements have a bit more color in them. And this is some of the feedback we got that people thought it would be a good idea to be able to pick them out more easily. Rather than going with a generic set of icons, they wanted a bit of color so you can see your favorite icons quickly to drag them across. Now, I don't think these are the final set. I think there's still more work to do. There's definitely some of these I want to change and are not finished. Uh, but this gives you a glimpse at the direction we're going in. Now, if I go up to the settings, I can switch to dark mode. And the story is a little bit different in dark mode. I've gone with a completely purple palette here because I think we want the items in the elements in dark mode to be knocked back slightly. You don't want all that color in your face. If you're someone that likes to use dark mode, then you kind of tend to want things to be a bit more subdued and a bit more knocked back. So here we've gone with a nice purple hue on these and these blend in really nice and look really professional. Uh, now the foreground items have a bit more color and the layout items like the container, the flex, the grid, and the section elements. Now those are all a single knocked back color. And it's the same if we go over to light. And that's because these are items that sit in the background. So we didn't kind of want those jumping out. So those layout elements will all be the same style. So they're easily recognizable. Whereas foreground elements, such as text, video, nav bars, images, things like that, have a bit of color to them or a bit more pop. Again, if I switch to the dark mode, you can see there. And the dark mode and light mode icons also carry over to the other view. If I switch there, you can see their list view and they're looking very nice. And there you can see, so you can see a little bit of color in those. And again, if I switch back, you can see those two views. So this is really nice. There we are, and they, they look great at any size. So those are the icons. Again, I'm still working on them, but do, uh, do let me know what you think. Uh, is this the right way to go? Yeah, give us your feedback, because that's why we do these weekly videos. So, you can, so we can kind of show you what we're working on and where we're headed. So this, again, not the finished thing, none of this is, it's where we're headed. So, so yeah, so that's the element icons. So, and I, I wanted to touch quickly on a little bit of layout. So I was just throwing together this website and I know one of the things asked from a while back was, on the real Mac site, I had these cards with our products in them and people were saying, well, that's great, but as you made the text bigger, um, what was happening was, uh, let me just go in there. What was happening was the boxes weren't all staying the same size. So as I add more text here, the box grows, but, but the rest of them don't. So you can see there, so they're all, uh, they're stepped down here and they're not all equal sizes. So um, as you know, as I've said before, these are in development and we're adding things as we go and working out what features we need to add. So if I click on, um, let me go over to this, you can see. So if I click on the grid, so I've got a, uh, grid items here. So let me close those up so you can see a bit better. So I've got a section and then I've got a grid and then each one of these is a grid item and inside a grid item you have more you have more things like a flex box and, and your content really so this grid we want we have options here at the moment we've got them aligned to the top and what i can do i can set them to the middle which is quite a cool look uh, kind of gets bigger as it goes that way or i can set them to align to the bottom but one of the things people are asking is they want these to all be the same size so i can easily just hit uniform and there we go, you can see they are all the same size now. And this is a really, really nice way to work and really powerful. And again, we're not quite done here yet. The, this is a work in progress, but I wanted to show you we're adding these things based on your feedback. So we obviously can't add everything, but these common things that we think, ah, oh, yeah, you know, we need those. And when I've been building sites, I think, ah, that is something that's not in there yet. And I want to be able to do this and I want to be able to do that. So we are we're adding those things as we go. And it's um, 
it's a process. So yeah, so that's just a little little update there um, on a couple of little things so you can see how this is kind of part of the polish as well. It's it's looking at each item individually and, and improving it. Um, yeah, so this works quite nicely. You know, I've got, uh, just going back to this, I've got these flex items in here and the flex items are allow me to um, set out items and, and reflow the content essentially. So inside my grid, I've got these, these three flex items. One's an image, uh, which is there. One is a heading and one is text. And what I can do is I can highlight this flex and I can tell them to, to wrap differently. So I can tell them to wrap that way. Um, so it's so it's done horizontally or vertically and I can change the spacing between them. So I can just do this and it just alters the spacing and it's really nice, you know. Uh, I can do it like this and then if I wanted more space here, I can go to my grid item and I can say rather than taking up four columns of our 12 column grid, uh, we actually want that to be bigger. I want it to be bigger on the desktop there. So I can push that along and you'll notice this gets pushed down. And uh, let's push that along. So there we go. So it's really quick to just, you know, play around with the way these things work. There we are. So, I, you know, I could do some big content there and my next box has reflowed here and I could add another box and we could say, oh, I want that one to be, oh, we're on the desktop, aren't we? I want that one to be eight. And very quickly here, I'm building up, uh, let's duplicate this, let's duplicate that, and then we can give that grid some content. So very quickly here, I've created a very complex layout with by not doing much. And it's all really, really visual. And that is one of the power, one of the powerful features of Rapid Weaver Elements, that you're designing your website in edit mode, but it looks like it does in preview, you know, you're, it is literally WYSIWYG and that really is the power here, um, you know, and I can move these and I can move this back and that will jump up when it's got more space. You know, super, super powerful stuff. Uh, I've gone on a bit too long because this was going to be a short video just to give you a bit of an update. But yeah, hopefully you can see how all your feedback and this polish is, is really organically feeding back into Elements and making it a better product. So thank you for your feedback so far and we'll be back next week with another video. All right, have a great week and I will see you then. Cheers, bye.